All right. My eyes are bloodshot. My skin is red. We know. My hair is not done. I am a victim of crime. Prolonged. All the... Oh. I look and am holding myself as expected. I'm also in a civil war, yes, where they're not caring for the pets in the town that they're trying to take. We know them. We're not, we're not playing games anymore. So now that I've got that all out, it should be easier for me to film this without any apprehensions. No, I don't look my best. No. And yes, I'm in the Civil War. And that's why I'm also a puddle of mush. Worse than just what I'm dealing with because my soulmate, little baby cat, was deteriorating because of the Civil War and the unethical stuff they're doing. I don't need to get into this. The military is, oh, Lord. By the grace of God, the baby's going to leave the hospital, and he made it to the hospital. My guidance was film this, go ahead and discuss it. I got a little time before I leave. My guidance was film yourself, although I look like someone who's a victim of crime. <laughs> There's no covering it up anymore and I'm not doing that for the criminals. And I look like someone who's really at their wits end trying to get their precious little animal soulmate to an almost emergency situation at the vet. I've been helpless once again at the mercy of a city filled with people more evil than I've ever been in my life anywhere. Outside of the UK, there were some places I went there that were on the top 10 list or whatever you want to number this. It's white people. And they do it for white power here. Which is what Jesus wanted me to go ahead and film and discuss. This is the crux of what's going on in the Capitol. Um, but this is what he really wanted me to get at. Like the core of the crux. What's really controlling all of this is the addiction that they have. Um, in my words, in my uh, opinion, in my whatever, whatever, all right? You can look at everything I wrote. It's pretty clear. Um, most of the people are, are on speed and pretty huffed, hyped, hot all the time. And um, so to be that addicted, the drive of the day is to make sure you have your drugs because you have to get high. That is what drives them. And then everything else that they do comes after. This is so elementary, at least to me, because I have a lot of time. I got like 15 this December, 16 years experience in this. Yeah, so I do. And um, it begs the question, what it, it does caused so many people in the middle of their lives, you know, whatever, when, whenever this came about, college, career, or midlife, to addict themselves to a highly addictive form of crystal meth is curious absolutely the stuff i want to uh gain answers to but not while i'm in one of their terrorist cells because I, I i've seen whoa i look unbelievable like yeah mommy no i can't do my hair and stuff here oh hey man um it's really 
fucking dangerous here. And as far as I know, that schizo is just still sitting up there. I, I gotta not think about what these people are doing, dude. No, hell no, dude. That's that's not your problem. Your problem is a lot of other things that they do, not what they're doing. You know what I mean? Who is she letting in? Is she is she up to something? Like these people are fucking savages. That's my problem. It's not what she's thinking, because what they're thinking, whether it's one of these obvious corner clucks, because that's what she is. She, I don't need to say this to adults with eyeballs. Her and the male in the basement that come, he come up covered in dirt are corner clucks. Look it up. I'm not going through this anymore. Look it up what that is. Then you have the ones I was just talking about that work at places. It could be anywhere. Um, and what would cause them to addict themselves, like really addicted, in the middle of their lives. Um, I've spoken about how some of the gay scene, quote unquote, to be in the crystal meth gay scene, you need to high Hitler here. Basically, this is my words, but I think I'm pretty close to get the good drugs. So go ahead, if you're white and then you're gay, hi Hitler, and you got the connect. And, you know, I think what I'm missing and forgetting is if you're addicted, that's everything that matters, man. Exactly. You're high in Hitler all day. You got the fucking connect. And these connects, as far as I'm privy to, you, know, you got to ask other people. We know that. You can get in all sorts of ways delivered to you and it's like really disposable so like right so clearly somebody was feeding the city a really addictive form of speed but the people took it you took that drug you're the one that picked up the alcohol if i relapse i can't blame anyone else i'm not going to relapse but you know what i mean they took it Not everybody's afflicted with some sort of traumatic event. You know, this is nothing to be cynical about, but what am, no. Uh, underlying, and any underlying driver of anguish and pain that causes someone a substance abuse problem is nothing to be cynical about. But I'm saying the entire city doesn't have this affliction or whatever. So what is this curious? Absolutely it is. I guess maybe it's to high Hitler. You get, but why are you picking the drug up in the first place? Now you're addicted and you're high Hitlering all day. That's basically Heidi's words, what's going on here? And I've seen it because like I'm going through absolute living hell. I'm witnessing things I never could would have dreamt. And when they go around this town because of their drug addiction, it's clear what's the driver of this behavior, dude. When you're addicted, that is all that's really going on. You might be high Hitlering and thinking you're doing anything, but you're not. You're a full-on junkie. All you're really doing is going down, down, down into the fifth stage of addiction, which you'll eventually die. That's all you're doing. You're not doing anything else except scoring and going down to your bottom. That's all you're doing. That's all this town is doing. That's why they never accomplished anything. But because this drug is so intense, they never will realize that. And plus, addiction's also that way anyways. Of any drug you take and get hooked on, the denial is one of the main things that keeps you from ever getting well. And living a sober healthy life you just can't admit any of it so denial becomes a safe zone um it definitely is with addicts but it is with people who are really sick and that's a whole nother uh basket of eggs but denial with addicts and that's what i'm dealing with here when i go around this town it becomes a safe zone. So when they're outright committing crimes, like I'm surviving here and look the way I look because of it, the police, everybody's on this dope. They're moving it, selling it, God, everything with it, okay? It's become all this drama and insanity. 
That's the only place addiction is going to take you. Now you've got people you know or you are involved with homicides and god darn terrorism. And it's just taking you to the pits of hell, this drug. Now you're looking at life in prison or who knows what, right? All this drama. And so the addicts of DC just go further into denial. I didn't do that. This isn't happening. Heidi doesn't do anything. And this, like, it seems like it never ends because with the addicts, it's not until they take their last little puff and OD. We all know this. But they're dangerous here because, yeah, a lot of the cops are armed. A lot of the civilians are armed. So it's, it's not so like simpleton. AA lecture time. No. They're armed and they're fucking deranged on speed. That's why I look the way I look. I, I can't believe the shit I'm witnessing here. But as a sober, sane woman, oh, especially a woman surviving this and hearing two chicks get killed and shit. Oh my fucking God. And going out to DC where they want to feel in their safe zone, denial, I feel safe here. We're just going to deny everything. I'm not going to engage with that. I'm not going to enable that. No, you are committing massive felonies here. This is a major crime scene, and there are serious military people that are all over this, like, hot pancakes now. Oh, yeah. So much so that I can kind of fall back and just protect myself like I should have been initially. I praise these guys that are doing this for me. But it doesn't influence the situation I'm still in right now. And most likely, unless something happens, who knows, in the next 20 minutes, going to go all by myself in an Uber with my sick baby kitty that couldn't get to a vet. So I'm really upset about that because the vets, for their insane reasons that are not justifiable, put off appointments for two months. It's really scary here. So I'm trying to manage all that, right? Until I can move out of this fucking city or the Pentagon comes and gets me. It's gonna be one of the two. That's where this is going. And um, I gotta deal with these addicts and their denial. It's all rooted in denial and addiction here. It's really not hard to figure out. I'm not a maestro for saying this. And as a woman, as a human, the denial makes you, when you're a victim of crime, it's the most worst feeling. They're denying the blah, blah, blah. I can't find words, you know, but you know how it's got to feel. It does. And um, they're doing it for self-protection and, and really, they're so, just trust me on this with addicts. Yeah, they're doing it for self-protection, but they're not doing it like you and I think of a criminal protecting oneself because they're really jumped out. These people, when they're high, they're not thinking clearly, period. Their minds are clouded. And when they're not high, all they're thinking about is, do I have more dope and can I get more dope if they don't? So they're not thinking like me and you if I were to go and commit a, a bank robbery. Okay, I just robbed the bank. Now I'm clear headed. What's my plan? No, 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 dude, that's not what we're dealing with here. Exactly, folks. They get their stash and their dope before they rob the bank. I'd hope they think of that. But I don't want to give a truck addict advice. Oh. No, I don't look good right now, people. I'm really frazzled in DC. When I bleach my hair, it'll look better, but it is not the house for that. And what we got right now, I'm not even discussing it. On paper, I wrote it, what we're dealing with right now. 
but what I deal with in DC is not okay. You cannot fucking butcher hookers in the house and you cannot be making chemical weapons on Instagram. And to deny it, the whole town deny. And, and all this further sickness, I cannot enable or whatever word I just used, I can't. So I, I definitely go out and about just with this wall now of detachment, it's detaching. And no, I'm dealing with severely addicted people that are just savage. They're so lost in addiction. They're willing to do and align with anything in order to get their drug. It's basically my impression here. And they also, I'm sorry, until proven otherwise, are in the business of killing your house pets. Yeah. Until proven up otherwise, this city is in the business of killing house pets. I don't even want to talk about it because I'm too upset about my little baby cat. We're going to get him to the vet. We're going to get him vaccinated and his little butt unplugged. Okay? They're not going to pull any funny business. All really stemmed from where I can get my next bag of dope on my cat. They're not going to do any of that. It's going to be professional and the little cat is going to come home. I don't even think he needs any overnight. There's not going to be any bullshit today. All right. Bye.